This morning on Education Nation Today, landing college scholarships. For many high school students, dreams of attending college may not become a reality without the help of additional money. And there's nearly $3 billion out there just waiting to be claimed. College admissions expert Catherine Cohen is the founder and CEO of Ivy Wise. Good morning, Kat. Good to have you here. Good morning. And I know there's a big deadline coming up. March 31st is a deadline for a lot of these scholarships. And we're talking about free money here, right? So yes, unlike loans, to get on board. you don't have to pay them back. And so we're telling students to research and apply to as many good fit scholarships as possible because time is money. And for that March 31st deadline, there is still time. So students should get working right away. Right. And the application process in itself, I mean, let's get to some of the criteria. How do some of these scholarship committees determine what, who, who makes for a good fit for their scholarships? Well, there's scholarships out there for high school students, undergraduates, graduate students, and the criteria vary from scholarship mm -hmm. to scholarship, but a lot of them are going to look at a student's GPA, test scores, resume, essays, letters of recommendation, and oftentimes they're going to want to do some kind of an interview. And you mentioned there's so many different types of scholarships out there, university, heritage, career, corporate, regional, and then some other unusual scholarships. Unusual ones. So yeah, I love this because there's literally thousands of scholarships out there. So there's one if you're great at calling a duck, and there's one uh, for wearing the best duct tape outfit to the prom. Really? So yeah. there's something for everyone. There is you something. just have to know where to find it. Exactly. And then there's, of course, the bigger ones, you know, like the corporate ones, like Coca-Cola offers 250 high school seniors up to $20,000. Yeah. Um, those tend to be more competitive. Um, also, universities offer their own scholarships. Mm -hmm. So they'll offer um, merit-based scholarship based on a student's academic, athletic, or, or artistic achievements. And sometimes they'll even offer full tuition. And those are called um, trustee scholarships or presidential scholarships. Now, because there are so many scholarships out there, how do you how do you go about finding them? Well, the first place to look is online. There's there's free um, online tools that where basically you can put in your information, your profile, your background, you know what your interests are, your abilities, and it's going and these tools are going to match you mm -hmm. with the right scholarship. So you can look at fastweb.com collegeboard.com and scholarships.com. And you can also ask your high school guidance counselor. They're going to often um, recommend students for certain scholarships. Also right. look at a college's website. There's usually a scholarship section right on the website. They make it easy for you. Now, one of the big things you have to make sure is you don't make mistakes in the application process because that immediately will throw that scholarship opportunity perhaps out the window. So what are some things that you need to be aware of? Well, first of all, the most competitive scholarships have thousands of applicants. So if you don't meet the criteria or you've, you, know, you haven't followed directions, mm -hmm. you know, filling out the application, then you're going to be um, disqualified in, in the first round. So you definitely want to think about um, making sure that you complete everything, all the components of the application, do it on time. Don't forget to sign the forms. <laughs> exactly, sign the forms. Follow directions. So many students forget about this. Make yeah. sure somebody's proofreading your application. Um, they're reading the fine print. Exactly, yeah. reading the fine print. And you don't want to um, just write one generic application and send it to multiple scholarships. You know, look at each scholarship's criteria. So you're not going to send that MP3 of your duck call to right. a scholarship that's looking, you know, more at your academics and your grades. And you say you also may have to reapply every year to continue the scholarship, right? Exactly. Don't assume that a scholarship is going to be awarded for four years in a row. A lot of them are going to ask you to reapply, and they'll also require you to, for example, maintain a certain GPA to mm -hmm. get it that following year. And, and one thing you should be aware of, there are scholarship scams out there. What are some of the things that you should look out for if your child student is applying? There are. You don't want to look at a scholarship that's asking for any kind of an application fee or fees of any kind, and you also don't pay attention to scholarships that promise you guaranteed winnings. They're usually going to be scams. And you say, lastly, to apply for um, scholarships that fewer scholarships, but that offer big awards, or actually apply for a greater number of scholarships that are offered perhaps a little bit less rather than the big scholarships. Smaller awards, yeah. So Smaller if you're looking awards. at more local scholarships or scholarships that have more unique um, criteria, you're oftentimes going to get smaller applicant pools, so you, mm -hmm. you'd have a greater chance of winning those scholarships. And scholarships range from a couple hundred dollars to full tuition, and every little bit counts. It all adds up. So it's definitely worth it to apply for as many scholarships as you, know, you qualify for. Absolutely. Free money, as you said. Yes. So go for it. Yes. All right. Kat Cohen, is always great to have you here. Great information. Thank, Thank you so you. much.